<laughs> here to say the time of time, here's Dickie. Oh, nothing ever stays in Vegas, does it? Good morning, one and all. Well, it is one of the most infamous, talked about, but least understood moments in history. The assassination of President Abraham Lincoln. Now, a brand new conspiracy drama is diving into the aftermath of his death and the hunt for his killer, John Wilkes Booth. Features a brilliant cast, including Tobias Menzies and Patton Oswalt, who I caught up with to talk about Manhunt. I was born with a chance to be somebody. I'm gonna be the most famous man in the whole world. Congratulations on this. It's a, an incredible story. It's kind of part thriller and part history lesson, really, isn't it? Yes, I think that is the two things it's kind of weaving together is, yeah, this sort of genre true crime thriller at the spine of it, but um, also folding in some of the sort of larger kind of political issues that were at flux and at stake, yeah, in the immediate aftermath of Lincoln's death. How does a well-known actor commit murder in front of an audience of 1,500 people and escape. You're just taking me to Abraham Lincoln right now. I mean, tell me about getting the role of the cat in the hat. That was a terrific phone call to receive. You're going to be putting on the beard and the hat. Uh, I was very scared. I continue to be scared. One doesn't get to play not only a personal hero, but a, a sort of national hero. Uh, and I think kind of international hero every day. Quite a responsibility, no pressure, right? Yeah, no pressure at all. Thanks for reminding me. Booth is being protected by the Confederacy. Now with Lincoln out of the way, this country belongs to us. This is one of the most infamous but uh, least understood crimes in history, really. What did you know about the assassination before stepping into this world? I knew the meat and potatoes of it. Lincoln shot, Booth killed, boom, that's it. A little bit about Do Dr. Mudd, that's all they told. I did not know it was this massive. I had no idea. But what was more shocking was the true story behind it, which was he was one of three assassins who went out that night. They had an assassin going for the vice president and the secretary of state, and it was an organized attempt to take out the government. I had no idea about the conspiracy. I went and read Manhunt um, and, and was like, oh my God, if they pull this off, because they're telling a historical tale, but they're using like, uh, modern police procedural show techniques, um, editing, pacing, and stuff like that. And I think they really recaptured what it must have felt like, the chaos and the, we've got no time, what do we do? We've got to stop this, everything's about to unravel. So they really, really captured that, I thought, perfectly. Mr. President, the Confederacy is dead. The Union is saved. The war is over. We know you from The Crown and Game of Thrones, of course, in particular. Do these historical roles find you, or do you find them? I have a horrible feeling they find me. I think it must be something to do with my face or something. <laughs> it's just like a period face. I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, joking aside, there's also often just quite interesting material in, in these areas and interesting characters. Prince Philip is a good example of that. Uh, complex man. Uh, and I think Stanton is a, in a similar area, you know, not necessarily... Um, the most agreeable at all times, but has a kind of sort of deep moral compass and um, the right man at the right place uh, in this moment of crisis. You're normally the funny guy, um, you know, which you are. You know, assassination is not um, something we get a lot of laughs out of. Yeah, except that I think that even the most grim moments in history have had moments of, um, if not pure comedy, uncomfortable cringe where things were not as noble as they seem and massive accidents and uh, misjudgments were made and that does lend itself to comedy. I will not surrender, may God be my judge! God bless America. A yeah, bit of gallows humour. Manhunt premieres on Apple TV Plus this Friday. Stick it on the list, uh, Sarah and Carl. I love it. Good. Good on you, Dickie. Thank Thanks, you. Dickie. Hey there, today fans. Sarah and. <laughs> What's my name again? Oh Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?